maths standard 2 comparing numbers let us see what is meant by comparing numbers let us solve an exercise circle the smaller number you have studied in senior kg as well as in first standard first sum 3 4 so 3 4 is the given number tell me which is the smaller number yes correct 3 is the smaller number second sum 1 9 1 and 9 is the given number tell me which is the smaller number right answer 1 is the smaller number third sum 2 20 so 2 and 20 is the given number tell me which is the smaller number yes 2 is the smaller number now let us take another exercise circle the bigger number this also you have learnt in your previous class first sum 4 7 so 4 and 7 is your given number now tell me which is the bigger number right answer it is 7 7 is the bigger number second sum 2 8 2 and 8 is the given number tell me which is the bigger number right answer it is 8 third sum 8 9 8 and 9 is the given number tell me which is the bigger number 9 yes 9 is the bigger number let us see the signs of less than and greater than sign of less than this is the sign of less than you can show this sign using your finger also okay you can show this sign you can make this sign using your finger also just take two fingers in your left hand four finger that is index finger and middle finger of your left hand you can show this sign using your four finger and your middle finger of your left hand it will make a less than sign sign of greater than see this is the sign of greater than take your right hand take two fingers index finger and middle finger do as it is shown in the sign see it is your greater than sign now let us see how they are used 3 7 is your given number now see we have put a sign of less than now how are you going to read this sum it is read as 3 is less than 7 to read this you should know you should identify the sign now when you are looking at the video you can see names written below the sign if there was no name you might be confused yes or no so i have put the name as well so first to compare numbers you need to learn you need to by heart you need to understand the difference between less than sign and greater than sign okay once you by heart once you understand the less than sign and greater than sign it will be easier for you to compare the given numbers let us see the next sum one nine one is the smaller number nine is the bigger number so tell me which sign will be given here less than sign see less than sign so how you are going to read this it is read as 
one is less than nine it is very easy to understand how as i told you in those signs below it is already written yes or no so for time being you can practice from that name itself yes or no you can practice from that name itself once you are once you are uh, ready with this uh, identification it will be easier for you to understand next one 2 20 2 is the smaller number 20 is the bigger number so which sign will come here less than sign see yes so how are you going to read this it is read as 2 is less than 20 see it is read as 2 is less than 20 yes or no yes 7 3 now here 7 is the bigger number yes or no greater number 7 is the greater number 3 is a smaller number yes or no so how are you going to read this what sign you will put here you will put a greater than sign why because 7 is before 3 yes or no 7 is before 3 and among these two numbers 7 and 3 7 is the bigger number yes or no 7 is the bigger number 3 is the smaller number therefore how are you going to read this you are going to read it as 7 is greater than 3 next number 9 1 again 9 is a greater number 1 is a smaller number yes or no 9 is written before 1. Yes or no? So, how are you going to read? What sign you are going to put here? Greater than sign. Why greater than sign? Because 9 is greater number. 9 is greater than 1. Therefore, it is read as 9 is greater than 1. Next question 20. 2 given numbers are 20 and 2 20 is the greater number 2 is the smaller number so which sign you are going to put here greater than sign right so how are you going to read this it is read as 20 is greater than you have to just see the sign see the sign and read the sentence see the sign and say the sentence 20 is greater than 2 yes or no so now you have learned to identify the sign of less than and greater than so till now what did you do you circle the smaller number then you circle the bigger number yes or no then you learned to identify the less than sign and the greater than sign yes or no now let us see the above solved sums are one digit number that is they are smaller numbers you can easily identify those numbers which is bigger and which is smaller now let us see if we take any two digit numbers how will we decide which one is the greater number let's take two two digit number and solve rule is the number with greater tens digit is the greater number. The number with greater tens digit is the greater number rule seems to be difficult but when you will solve it, it is easy. Let us see. Let us take an example. 37 and 52. You can identify even without applying the rule, you can identify which is the bigger number and which is the smaller number. So, the given numbers are 37 and 52. Yes or no? So, in one word, if I ask you, which is the smaller number, children? You will say 37. Yes, 37 is the smaller number. Right answer. Which is the bigger number, children? Yes, it is 52. Right answer. But here, we are learning comparing numbers. Yes or no? So, we need to go one or two step more. Yes or no? So, let us see. Here in 37, 3 is in tens place. 
Yes or no? 7 is in units place and 3 is in tens place. And in 52, 52 is the given number and in 52, 2 is in units place and 5 is in tens place. Yes or no? So, there are 3 tens in 37 and 5 tens in 52. This is understood already. Therefore, these numbers can be identified in two ways using less than sign and greater than sign. Let us see how. 52, 37. I have written it inversely. I have changed their place. So, 52 and 37. Now, tell me we have done this in the earlier sum. We have solved 3 to 4 sums earlier. Yes or no? Now, it is easier for you. You have to just put the sign and you have to read it. Yes or no? Now, here on the left hand side it is 52 and on the right hand side it is 37. You know 52 is a greater number. 37 is a smaller number. So, which sign will come here? greater than sign. Yes. So, put the greater than sign. Now, how are you going to read this? 52 is greater than 37. I hope you understood. And let us reverse it again. 37, 52. Now, I have written the question as it is. So, here on the left hand side, 37 is the number and on the right hand side, 52 is your number. So, which is the smaller number here? Yes, 37 is the smaller number. Which is the bigger number here? Yes, 52 is the bigger number. So, 37. 30, among 37, between 37 and 52, which sign are you going to put? And how are you going to read this? As 37 is the less than number, smaller number, we are going to put the sign less than. See? Yes or no? So, how are you going to read this? It is read as 37 is less than 52. For this, you have to understand the sign. So, what is the method? What is the trick of understanding this? See, according to me, I will tell you write 5 times or 10 times each every day until you keep that in your mind. Yes or no? Because this sign is really very tricky. Hmm? So, I will tell you write daily practice 5 to 10 times until you understand this and one day it will be easier for you to compare the numbers. Yes or no? You know that this is smaller number, this is bigger number but when it comes to put the sign everything mess up. Yes or no? And the sum becomes wrong. Yes or no? So, you have to identify the sum. So, 37 is less than 52. Let us solve the exercise. Put less than and greater than signs. First sum 43, 46. So, step by step you move 43 and 46 are the given numbers. 43 is to the left hand side, 46 is to the right hand side. 43 is a smaller number. 46 is the bigger number. So, which sign are you going to put? We are going to put less than sign. And we will read it as 43 is less than 46. Next question 84, 86. So, given numbers are 84 and 86. On the left hand side it is 84. On the right hand side it is 86. 84 is a smaller number. 86 is a greater number. Therefore, we will put less than sign and it is read as 84 is less than 86. Next sum 67, 57. Given numbers are 67 and 57. On the left hand side it is 67. On the right hand side it is 57. 67 is the greater number or bigger number. 57 is the smaller number. Therefore, we are going to put greater than sign. Why? Because 67 is the greater number and it is read as 67 is greater than 57. I hope you understood. Next sum 13, 9. 
13 and 9 are the given numbers. 13 is to the left hand side, 9 is to the right hand side. 13 is the bigger number or greater number, 9 is the smaller number. Hence, we are going to put greater than sign and it will be read as 13 is greater than 9. Yes or no? Next sum, 23, 32. 23 and 32 are the given number. 23 is to the left hand side, 32 is to the right hand side. 23 is a smaller number. 32 is a bigger number or greater number. Therefore, we are going to put a less than sign. See? Yes. And how are you going to read this? 23 is less than 32. Yes or no? Next question, 30. 50. Given numbers are 30 and 50. 30 is to the left hand side. 50 is to the right hand side. 30 is a smaller number. 50 is a greater number, bigger number. So, what sign are you going to put here? Yes, lesser than sign. Yes, see? And how are you going to read this? 30 is less than 50. I hope you understood this chapter. Thank you.